Well, all eyes have been on the COP26 climate conference in Glasgow since it opened last week. Delegates from around the globe have been thrashing out deals to limit global warming. But which countries are the real leaders when it comes to reducing CO2 and which are the biggest polluters? The latest Climate Change Performance Index rates 60 countries that are responsible for producing more than 90% of global greenhouse gases. And the picture is indeed very mixed. Countries in red are the biggest polluters. They include the US, Russia and Australia. China does only slightly better, though it still ranks in the low category. India was given a high score due to its low energy consumption and progress with renewable energy sources. The European Union as a whole gets a medium ranking despite its, its ambitious new climate goals. Germany scored highly, but the overall leader in climate protection is Denmark, beating its neighbor Sweden, which topped the list for five years running. Well, this index is compiled by the NGOs German Watch, the New Climate Institute and Climate Action Network. And I'm now joined by Jan Berg from German Watch, the main author of this report. So which countries are uh, on the right path when it comes to cutting emissions and what are they doing better? Well, first of all, um, no country is in the moment doing good enough. So we have no country on the podium. The first three ranks are still open because um, no one is on uh, track for 1.5 uh, degreements pathway. But we have the Scandinavian countries in the front. Um, Denmark is leading the tableau. Denmark is interesting because it is a coal country and it's reduced its coal and replacing that with renewable since now 20 years. And they are... Um, and they also have very, very ambitious targets to um, also increase the renewables more. And um, so therefore, Denmark is leading that. Mm. So yesterday, uh, Barack Obama spoke uh, to the climate summit in Glasgow. He said a lot more needed to be done fast. But what about his climate legacy as the former leader of the US, one of the world's biggest CO2 emitters? Well, um, yes, even in his um, legacy, he was not able to reduce um, the, the CO2 emissions fast enough. Um, he was not successful with a good climate bill um, against the Senate. Thank you so much. And now Thank President you. Biden has the same problem. The, um, he has... Uh, we, we need massive investments in renewables, West, massive investments in CO2-free infrastructure. And we have to see whether he will... Um, uh, be successful with that. Uh, but yes, it's still in the very low ranking in the moment. Mm. So, but progress can only be made if the biggest polluters like the US and China participate. Yet, uh, China and other countries uh, across Asia are planning on building hundreds more of new coal fired power stations. What does that mean? Well, um, we have to stop that immediately. If, if this um, will continue, we have no chance to um, uh, uh, get the 1.5 limit um, be, be done. But we allow me to, to interrupt you. How are we going to stop China stop. to build more coal-fired power plants? How are we going to do this? Well, um, China has to do that. Um, China will only uh, do that if the renewable acceleration will be more successful. China, we need to um, uh, put more pressure on China and also more support for China doing that. Um, I see different movements in China in the moment. There is a lot, of, especially in civil society, there's a big movement against coal in the moment. And, um, but yes, uh, the pressure needs to be rising up. Jan Berg there, talking to us from Glasgow. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Goodbye.